Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's Terry. And another edition of the Norca Today. This Dendrobium, which has been in bone for quite a while, is a Laturia, and these do bloom off of old pseudobulbs. And as I was kind of enjoying the last few of these blooms, I began to look at the plant and I noticed that there's more inflorescence coming up off of spikes that have just bloomed. So it would appear that my viewing pleasure with this plant is going to be extended some, which is pretty good. I'm even noticing the new growth of this season uh, kind of appears as if they're pseudobulbs or not the pseudobulbs, but the sheaths at the top of those new growths are swelling up. So we will see. But today, or yesterday, was an exciting day for me. Well, I don't know, not exciting, because I've had this plant before. I'm talking about a new orchid, a new but an old orchid that I got yesterday in the mail. I had originally bid on this orchid, but I knew that I had no chance of getting it, or I thought I didn't, because uh, these orchids are very, very rare, and you never see any of them for sale in the first place. But anyway, this is what I got, and everybody knows what that is, you can tell. This is an Encyclia citrina. It's now... Uh, well, it's been a lot of things. It used to be Cattleya. Um, then it was an Encyclia. Then I believe it was uh, Prostechia. And now it's something Uchale. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but it's 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 still Encyclia to me. Um, the glaucous leaves are what I believe the issue is with trying to classify this orchid. Uh, just because it is so unique um, and there is another species in the same genus which is more commonly found is the Marii um, and I have a, a cross between the two of them which I've had now for maybe a year which I just mounted somewhere where did it go uh, okay, now I'm totally confused. Uh, maybe I moved it. Did I move it? Okay. Well, anyway, I have a citria, citrina, uh, not a citrina, a marina. Thanks to my friend Grace, uh, who's possibly watching, who has the best marina. Uh, but I've talked about that before. Uh... Well, anyway, my marina is mounted and it is small. I might have took it back inside. I don't think so, though. So now I'm very confused and trying not to freak out. What's this? Oh, and as I say that and get caught. Okay. So yeah, this is my <coughs> Prostechia marina, which is Maria times Citrina. And at the moment, I do not have Maria. I had a nice Maria, which bloomed for me every year, but because it sat close to the window uh, and because my greenhouse could not stay cool, not cool, but warm last year, because it got nine, minus 19 or minus 16 
for a whole week uh, it died um, but so I hope to have it eventually and I see those out there they're more common but this is never common and this is a fluke that I got this because when I saw it as I was saying initially on eBay I noticed that it had previously bloomed and I know that if I saw it everybody saw it and being that these plants are rare in the first place and I believe the bid might have started at 20 some bucks, 29 and so I think I put in a couple bids and then I just stopped and did not even look. I might have looked to see what it went for, but you know. So uh, a few days later I get a second chance and I was just like, what the hell? But anyways, Prostechia, oh that's Eucale, I'll just call it an Encyclia. Encyclia citrina is from Mexico it is the tulip orchid and I will put a picture in here if you don't know uh, this plant grows pendant and is very fragrant it is yellow very very fragrant um, does like cooler temperatures prefers intermediate I would say as a whole but it can handle a uh, little warmth in the summer as long as it gets copious amounts of water which is what it likes it likes lots of water while it's growing and then fast it likes its roots to dry fast it does like that fast dry cycle so these do best mounted and um, mounted upside down so that the water as it drains does not get into the new growth and in the winter time it does prefer to be dry and cooler um, but as I've learned and as a lot of other folks can attest dry rest is not so literal um, last summer or last winter I started misting them a lot more than just watering them and that has worked the best for me and my plants did a lot better over wintering um, so um, that is what this plant requires <clears throat> and it does prefer to be in the shade in the summertime like I said in the winter it can take a little bit more sun but it does like it cooler as I said and drier but I still do mist it every day or as you know every other day something like that I don't let it stay uh, I don't want to say not dry because it is dry but I, I don't I still retain me to maintain my misting regime especially on sunny days if it's a it's if it's a gray day or rainy day then I don't worry about it but if it's sunny yes for sure uh, yeah so I don't know what else I can say about that plant um, but it's I'm sure it's on everybody's wish list and the thing about this plant is whatever I paid for it generally when you find when you do find these plants you'll usually find a plant that is maybe it's not even this big and you'll pay 40 bucks for that because they're so rare and it's a hot item whenever you see them so I'm just so grateful to have this um, a guy gave it a little drink before I mounted it up here last night and um, so this is where it's going to stay for a minute <clears throat> until I have to move my plants inside I would presume but yeah that is my video for today and if you'd enjoyed my video press the like button and please subscribe and I don't have anything to show you <laughs> so I'll just sign off enjoy your orchids bye